Hi and welcome back. In this episode, we're going to be making some sliding glass doors. Thus far in the model house project, I've made windows and single doors, but I still haven't made something to go into the double door cavities on the back of the house. On the original house I'm modeling mine after, the three on the back of the house were sliding glass doors and the one on the side of the house was a French door. But I'm going to make all four sliding glass doors for simplicity. The design I'm thinking of looks very similar to the windows. I'll make a large frame that fits into each cavity that holds two more smaller frames, each containing a pane of glass. The front frame will slide back and forth, resting on top of the back frame when open. I'll have to figure out some sort of track mechanism to keep the door in line as it slides. I don't quite yet know how that'll work, but I have some ideas. Just like the windows and single doors, I'll make these sliding glass doors out of oak, in particular an oak fence post. I need to slice this up on the table saw, but I don't have the space behind or in front of my saw to do that. So I moved it over. Once I had the clearance, I could slice up the oak into strips. These strips were mostly okay, but a few of them had cracks down the middle. This oak isn't the most high quality wood. I glued up the worst offenders and let them sit for a while to dry. In the meantime, I could start planning out how long each part needed to be. Once I knew all the dimensions of each piece, I made a cut list and started marking up my material. This is all the material I need for all the outside frames. I'll square up the ends on the mill, bringing each piece to exact length. Finally, each board needs to be split in half. After marking up each board, I carefully split each on the table saw. They came out pretty even, nice. Lastly, on the mill, I'll square up the one remaining side. The width of these parts isn't super critical, but what is critical is that all the pieces are the same width. I'm going to be gluing these pieces to each other, and I want the joints to be as flush as possible. Here's the door frame I ended up with. 
Making the inner frames was a very similar process. I sliced up strips. I rough cut each to width. And milled them to final size. Each door has two inner frames. I'll lay their parts side by side here in the door cavity. Next up, I'll carve a slot in each inner frame member. This slot will hold the glass that will make up the inside surface of each door. With the slot in each inner frame member, I can finally glue together the assembly. To start with, I'm only gluing three sides. This is so that I have a way to get in the window glass later. I used the fourth inner frame piece to square up the ends, and then I waited for the glue to dry. But in the meantime, I started on cutting out the window glass pieces. I chose to make the window glass out of acrylic. I just needed to cut this larger sheet down into manageable pieces for each window frame. I used a technique I've previously used with success. I determined the width of each piece that I wanted, and then scored the acrylic with a utility knife. Then I stressed the acrylic. The score makes a weak point, and the acrylic should snap right along it. Only that didn't really work. I still don't know why. So I moved over to the table saw. I forgot how much I hate cutting plastics on the table saw. It results in a shower of hot plastic shrapnel that burns. But it did leave me with two acrylic strips, exactly the width I needed. Now I could figure out the length. Making this cut on my crosscut slab was a lot less troublesome. Finally, I could slot each window pane into each inner frame, and glue the remaining frame member into place to lock the assembly together. I needed 8 of these frames in total, 2 for each sliding glass door. Also at this point, I glued together the outer frames. Now, with all the sub-assemblies complete, I began to think about the door sliding mechanism. I decided I'd make a small metal track that the door would slide in, one on the top of each door and one on the bottom. So I started cutting up some sheet metal. Each slide is slightly asymmetrical. You'll see why in a moment. On the vise, I'll bend over the edges to form two lips on either side. These lips will keep the sliding part of the door in line with the frame as it moves. This is why these tracks seem to be asymmetrical. 
Removing the lip on one side allows them to seat nicely against the non-moving frame. Some glue to tack the slide into place finishes up the project. I think this might be one of my favorite parts of the house project so far. It just came out so much better than I thought it would. These sliding glass door panes move effortlessly in the slides. It's like the perfect amount of tension, and I think it was just a coincidence, but it really came out well. Wow. So, I guess I'm ready to install these things. That was a lot of fun, and I'm really pleased with the doors I made. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this project and want to support what I do, feel free to subscribe. And thanks for watching. See you later.